Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, what do I always say? Frankenstein is not the monster. Frankenstein is the guy who created him, right? So let's speak about monsters, right? The Mexican monster is David Benavidez. That's what Mike Tyson says. He's the Mexican monster, right? Well, the other monster we created is Canelo Alvarez. We've created the monster now. And here's the newest news. Talk, seeing Eddie Hearn in the interview, I think one of the Fight Hub, Fight Hype or something, the interview, he was saying that basically $50 million with the upside coming on top of it from pay-per-view, so maybe $70, $80, $80 $80 million, is not enough for Canelo to fight his mandatory in David Benavides. And we've heard crickets from the WBC in terms of, you know what, well, we ain't got time for that. You ain't got the title. We're going to just give it to Benavides like we gave it to you. See, we got to make sure that's clear. Canelo was given the WBC title. He never had to fight for it, right? So now he has it, and $50 million plus upside is not enough to fight David Benavides. David Benavides is an earthling, right? He's from this planet. He's from the same weight class that Canelo is, right? Where Canelo's comfortable. He's been his mandatory for a couple of years now. Now, Canelo doesn't have to fight David Morrell either, who's been the WBA mandatory. So that's ridiculous, Okay, that's what the problem is. But when Canelo has a deal with DAZN, 10 fights for $385 million, and he gets to fight two easy fights, and as soon as DAZN just tells him, okay, now you got to fight the hard fights, meaning Demetrius Andre, because he was signed at DAZN, then Canelo says, well, I'd rather get out of that contract instead of fighting Demetrius Andre, who's signed here at DAZN, right? Or anybody hard. That's what he does. But what happens? The so-called fans or the cult members just start say, doesn't say anything and let them get away with that type of behavior. You know, we go, you're about to get $385 million. Can you fight somebody hard, right? Then go fight an Alva Yildirim and want big, big money for it. Last fight, John Ryder and people go to the fight, right? Instead of saying, you know what? You're going to get boycotted until you fight somebody hard. The Amir Khans of the world, Right. Goes up to, you know, doesn't fight Demetrius Andre for at 160 for undisputed. Right. If you don't fight for undisputed and everybody saw that that was an undisputed fight in the middleweight division. But nobody in the whole media never mentioned it like it wasn't even happening. Let him go and force Kovalev to fight on eight weeks notice or probably even less than that. After coming off the hard Anthony Yard fight and then saying, well, he's daring to be great. Acting like becoming the middleweight, the first middleweight undisputed for who knows how long and the first Mexican to do it. And then when he says, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to go to 168 pounds where it's easier. Right. It was easier, especially when you're going to just go to Callum Smith, fight him for the WBA title. And the WBC says, we're going to give you that title so you don't have to fight David Benavides. And then you just got uh, Caleb Plant and um, Billy Joe Saunders. Instead of having to go to Dimitri Andre, right? Instead of going through that. Then you get a franchise title, which everybody saw was egregious. The worst thing that ever happened in boxing. Well, no, it's not the worst thing, but one of the worst things that a sanctioned body could do. Come up with a, a, a new belt or a new title. Don't have a description of it, right? And the boxing community ignores that the mainstream media starts acting like that means something starts saying franchise title like they've been saying it for years what is canelo supposed to become if you let him what is he supposed to become he's watching that he knows damn well that is this is ridiculous oh but they they down with me the whole thing and people go into press conferences and won't ask him about these questions he wasn't asked about fighting demetrius andrade for undisputed he didn't have to answer questions about franchise title Right? He didn't have to answer questions. Everything was just cool. Yeah, now he's the monster. Now he won't have to fight David Benavides for $50 million plus. That's what the hell is up. So uh, thank you, gracias, for all those people who enable him to act this way. Right? And all those people, right, who have enabled him to act this way, now you got the monster. $50 million ain't enough. 
Doma Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm up out of here, y'all.